He has performed in 25 countries and on five continents. He has appeared over in 100 television shows, such as the Johnny Carson, the Joey Bishop Show, and the Mike Douglas Show. Let's give him a nice welcome, Al Langton. Golly, what a great audience. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can hardly wait to see what I'm going to do. <laughs> Tell I'm a magician by the way I'm dressed. <laughs> you know, kind of silly. I feel like I just fell off a wedding cake. <laughs> Being a magician, I thought I'd start out by doing the trick I've based my entire reputation on. I've had magicians from all over the world come to me and ask me how I do it. <laughs> Few of them ask me why I do it. <clears throat> but here it is, the miracle of the torn and the restored napkin. I want you to watch closely as I tear up the napkin and hope to put it all back together. First of all, you tear it up, then you push it into the hand. Get it all the way down inside the hand. Once it's inside the hand, here's where you get wolfen powder. You know what wolfen powder is? <laughs> Spray up right out of the tub. <laughs> wolfen powder. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The magician's union that make us all do this. <laughs> Silly way to make them. <clears throat> now, of course, we pushed it from the top, so naturally I pull it from the bottom. There it is. The same napkin, the same fingers, the same magician, and the same figure. see that napkin. See, that's a spare that I carry in case I rip one. Well, I always like to bring a spare on, just in case. That's all. You like it? <laughs> but you know, all magicians, whenever they perform and wherever they perform, it always seems that they have a charming and lovely. And of course, I'm no exception. I brought an assistant with me today, all the way from Hollywood. You've probably seen her in movies, maybe on television. Let's give her a nice welcome. Come on out here. Live to you already. What is your name? Darla? Well, I don't remember that. That's my middle name. <laughs> well, besides having a magician and an assistant, I will need someone to do some magic, huh? And uh, I have a young man over here. Let's give him a nice welcome. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm Hi, Hi, Sam. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Sam. Now, <laughs> Sam, what we're going to do, Sam. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to. Exactly how simple magic is. See, I have a napkin. And I'm going to make this van disappear completely. All you have to do is catch me. Now, the rest of you are all backstage. In other words, you'll see how the trick works. <laughs> Don't tell Sam, maybe I can fool you. Sam, watch this napkin very close. Don't take your eyes off the napkin, Sam. Watch it very close. Don't tell him where it is. Watch. Where is it, Sam? No, it's right here. <laughs> I'll try to leave. So don't forget how you'll all see it, so don't tell him where it goes. Sam, watch that napkin very close. Don't tell him where it goes. Watch. Here we go. Don't tell him. Watch. Where is it, Sam? Downstairs. Nope. Now, Sam, the reason they're all laughing is because they can see where it went. So let me explain it to you. See, Sam, I left my hand and went up my sleeve, and it came back down over here, and it landed in my You understand how much? Very close. Don't take your eyes off the napkin, Sam. Don't tell him where it goes. Well, where is it, Sam? Nope. <laughs> I will admit that even though you can all see it, it is rather difficult for Sam to spot it. So, uh, tell you what I'll do. I'll do it with something you can catch me with. Let me have your shoe. I'll try the same thing with his shoe, and this way he'll be able to catch me. That's it. Left over, right, right over. Right. That's it. Good. Now, starting with <laughs> Sam, but it's just a matter of me doing one thing here, 
why you're watching over here. So if you watch right here, you probably learn how all the tricks are done, and then I'll be out of the job. Well, Sam, as soon as you have yourself back together again, we're going to try something else on this suspicious occasion. But this time, we're going to do something rather unusual. So Sam, if you'd be kind enough to step into my office, right there on the back door, good Steve, a little tall. Sam, give him all a nice smile. Uh, <laughs> office, I'll need you too. Because I said I was going to use something rather unusual. And it is unusual for a magic show. And here it is. A banana! <laughs> like bananas, Sam? Good. Hope you don't like them too well. Just hold it right about there. Now I'll say I'm cool. It's a 50 cent piece, a half a dollar, and a napkin. Now, darling, if you'll step into my office and hold on to the coin and the napkin, in a moment I'm going to wrap that coin in the napkin. Now, after it's all wrapped up, I'll cause it to leave the napkin, fly through the air, into the banana. Now, sometimes when I do this, I hear people say, well, I think I know how he did it. There's probably already a coin in the banana. So I'll open it up and I'll show you. It's a brand new banana. It's never been used before. In fact, I'd like you to take a look. Sam, do you see any coins in there? Good. Just hold it right about there. Now, if you'll hold this right about there, I have to get these lined up just right. Sam asked, Coke, milk, orange juice, root beer, anything at all. What would you like, Sam? Coke. Coke. All right. I pour the water in the can, and I say the magic words, hocus pocus. Believe it or not, out of the can comes a nice glass of water. <laughs> well, it's a new trick. Let me try this over here. Let me see. The water goes in. Oh, Coke. Um, Coke. Oh. It's all done by magic. <laughs> and I say the magic words, hocus pocus, dominoes, hocus, fish bones, chocus, jiggle, rich. Believe it or not, out of the can comes a water. <laughs> Here, I'll put the water in the can. You hold on to the glass with your right hand, and I'll check the instructions. <coughs> Place water in the can, all right? Cover and invert. Invert. Oh, turn it upside down. Cover and invert. I can see this is the dangerous part. Um, oh, excuse me, Mike. <laughs> Hold on to this. Oh, wait a minute. You have to glad. Uh, let me just put it right up here. <laughs> now, the first thing we 
do is put the water in the cake. Now we cover, invert, and then... Uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. But that's okay. I'll make a trick out of the same. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll do the super amazing, fantastic water divide. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll cause one half the water and only one half the water to flow down this side. Uh, and the other half down. This works. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. You know, I was trying to make a malt and it didn't work too well, but here we go. That's all count. One, two, three. By golly, it must be the cold weather. It froze up for just a second, but let's give him a hand for curry. But you know, it seems to me that since we've been up here, Sam and I have been doing all the magic. Don't you think it's about time Darwin did a trick? Ah! Well, that's why I thought you and I would try the babushka trick. So if you'll be kind enough to hold on to the babushka, we'll begin. Now, in this experiment, as you notice, I used two colored handkerchiefs. A green handkerchief and an orange handkerchief. Ah! Ah! Red and purple. I knew that. Oh. Now, starting with the red handkerchief and the purple handkerchief. both together, which I'm sure you will admit that tying them together is a lot easier than trying to tie them apart. Now, if you can tie together, I'll place these in a glass, and Darla, I'll change you the glass for the babushka. By the way, Sam, do you know what a babushka is? No. It's one of these. <laughs> and I'll show you how it's used. You see, you hold a babushka box in corners, and then you wear it. Go like this. by the name of Al Lampkin, who shall forever remain nameless. And it was designed to hold a babushka. This is called a babushka bag. Now, Sam, if you'll be kind enough to hold on to the handle of the babushka bag, and we'll, we'll cause the babushka to leave the bag, fly through the air, over in between the two hands. You have to hold that a little bit higher, Carla. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be tall enough for this trick. Uh, maybe we can work this out. No. You wave it over the top, and believe it or not, the babushka will fly out of the Are you ready, Doc? Good, here we go. Wave it right over the top.
by a blue balloon. Oh! I think I hurt myself. <laughs> While well, tied a nice knot in a blue balloon. into a tray. Darla, if you'll be kind enough to hold on to the tray. I have a pack of cards. But this is a rather unusual pack of cards because instead of numbers, they have letters. The letter H, T, L, X, all different letters of the alphabet. Now, Sam, if you'll hold out one hand just like that. We'll see I'm going to clean them. That was the clean them. Now, if you hold the other hand right over the top, just about like that, good. Now, so I can go through the cards. Take the top hand, reach over, take out the card, and hold it between your hands. No one's going to see the card. Move back a little bit. It makes me show it a little bit. All right, here we go. Now, you notice they're all different, by the way. See, every card is a little bit different here. Some magicians try to make you take it, sir. He has a free choice if you take any letter. And I'll mix them up a little bit so that I don't know which letter gets. All right, here we go. Okay? Good. Go ahead. Take out one. Anyone, look at it, remember what it is. Burn it on your memory. It's going to look silly tomorrow with a burnt memory. Watch it see. <laughs> now, in a moment, Sam is going to hold the letter up real high so that you can all see it. Now, don't say it out loud. I know you'll recognize it even in the front, but shh, don't say it out, out loud. Are you ready? Go ahead, hold it up real high like that. But don't say it out loud. It's a secret for me. Did you show it, Sam? Show the people way back there in the chief seats. Did you show it to them? Good. Shuffle the cup. You gotta show them good. Now just slide right back into the pack. Face down, just slide right into that. But not all of them. How am I going to find it? What do you think I am? Magician? Oh, that's right, I am. Well, maybe I can find it by magic. Thank you, darling. And if they're asking to move back, Sam, this is the dangerous part. Over there by the flag. That's it, because I'm going to take the cards and place these on top of the tray. Now by reaching them out of all about the very same left. Here we go. And there it is, the very same letter. I'll balance it on top of the letter. And I thank you. I had it backwards, but there it is. I oh, I forgot only magicians can see it. Well, Sam, if you tell me what letter you have, I'll make it appear in the blue so that everyone can see it. A nice, loud, clear voice. What was the letter? Why? Because I'm going to make it appear in the blue so they can all see it. What was the letter? down inside the balloon. Hold your ears. There it is. together because I use these in all the schools I go to. Please very carefully, Sam. These are very valuable. They cost me almost an extra mile. Go ahead and untie those. And then hold them up by the ends and I'll explain how this works. Now, if you'd like to try this, get two pieces of rope and cut them exactly the same length. Because if they're not the same length, of course, the trick won't work. But I'll use them by the ends. And I'll use just like that and I'll explain how this works. Now, once we have these two pieces of rope, of course, I'll be using one of these pieces of rope. The same with the other. Yeah. this one in half, and then we'll have two pieces of rope the same length. So Sam, if you'll go ahead and cut right through the middle. <laughs> I think you better use a pair of scissors. There you are, Sam. Go ahead and take those, cut right through the middle, and then you'll have to be exactly the same. Luckily, I have another pick. 
Okay, you guys, you can go ahead and take those, cut right to the middle, and then back. <laughs>
Now you want flour, but you don't want too much. You only put one, sometimes two teaspoons, and that's all. Because if you put ah! salt shake and we'll try. Well, oh, Pierre, Pierre, you better put the flour away first. That's it. Bring that salt shake right back. Good. Now we need just a pinch of salt. Better take the cap off. It flows a little fast. Okay, you can put that on. Oh, uh, Pierre, Pierre, put the cap. Good. Now, darling, if you'll get the eggs, we'll need eggs. The eggs are very important because once we put the eggs in, then we can... <laughs> darling, they're in the cupboard. They're in the refrigerator over here. There's a whole bag of them. Just bring that whole bag out. That's it. Good. Shut the refrigerator door. Good. Bring that. Not the whole bag! <laughs> well, you have to break it! What are you going to do with shells? Here, put them in here. Put them in there. Good. Kind of adds to the flavor. But it needs a few more ingredients. A little pepper, some mustard, vinegar, glue, gasoline, dog food. All right, we'll put that on the stove. We'll cook it. We'll see how it comes out. The stove right here, it's red hot. You'll turn the stove on. Right here. I think that's enough cooking. Turn the stove off. Good. Come over here, darling. We'll take a look and we'll see how our magic chip is done. There's the knob. Take it off by the knob. Go ahead. Oh, by golly, that's a lot of flour, but take it off. Yeah. Boys and girls, I want you to know that I couldn't have done my show without the help of Darla. And as you know, magicians make big money. And I always pay off my assistants. So, Darla, here's a little bit of big money for you. Let's give Darla a nice round of applause. Nonsense. Sam, I want to thank you very much. You were a good sport. Here's a little bit of big money for you. Let's give Sam a nice time. Sam, before you leave, in your pocket you have a piece of magic rope, and if you could bring that back, I want to explain to you exactly what this is. Then you can keep this as a souvenir of this suspicious occasion. But this is magic rope. You know, when I was a little boy, believe it or not, I could tie my shoes faster than any other boy or girl in the school. But sometimes during the day, the ends would go right through the loop, just like that. You ever seen that happen in the Go home at night and you have nothing but a knot left. Now, Sam, if this happens to your knot, you can use your teeth that tie it, but you'll ruin your teeth. Or you can use a pair of scissors to cut, but you'll ruin the rope. But this being magic rope, you can do just like Larry Brock does. Just grab the knot and it comes right off, and there you are. Let's give him a nice round of applause. You were a great audience. How about a nice round of applause for yourself? Now, boys and girls, if you stay right in your seats and listen to your teachers, they will dismiss you back to your class. But if you enjoyed the show and you get back to your class, you thank your teacher because this was a gift from them. So I see you again. So long, boys and girls. Come on.